to me. Um, whatever statement starts with open, all right? So we'll give this a try before we enter into the um, regular part of Holden. So please stand as you are able and comfortable. We gather in the name of the Divine One as beloved children of God. Remember the Holy One is with you. Bring to mind this loving presence within you and around you as we pray the following. And you will do the actions with your fingers and then um, we'll say the words. So touch your fingertips to your forehead saying, open my mind to remember your presence. Open my mind to remember your presence. And use your fingertips to touch your mouth saying, open my mouth to speak your wisdom. Open my mouth to speak your wisdom. Now use your fingertips to touch your heart area, saying, open my heart to extend your love. Open my heart to extend your love. And then hold out both hands and say, or with the palms up, saying, open my hands to serve you generously. Open my hands to serve you generously. Uh, arms wide, say, open my whole being to you. Open my whole being to you. And then make a deep bow to the loving presence in yourself.
Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not gone out. And Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, lie down again. So that he went and lie down. The Lord called again, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. The word of the Lord had not been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time and got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel and I went and lay down on, the, on his place. Now the Lord came and stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. Then the Lord said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make both ears of anyone who hears of it tingle. Word of the Lord. All right, this time we will spend two minutes where we're, I'd like you to um, consider a time when someone helped you recognize a new possibility or even the leading of God. You can choose to just do that in your mind, or if you have your um, little booklet and you decide you'd like to write down some thoughts, that's up to you. I've got to go set the timer. This will be group one, and this will be group two. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting of 
top of my hands as an offering to you. Oh God, I call to you. Come to me now. Oh, hear my voice when I cry. Let my prayer May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praises and your love in our lives. Amen. Reading from Romans. The word is near you, on your lips and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and is so justified. And one confesses with the mouth that and is so saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. For, three it is, for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not all have obeyed the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord who has believed our message... So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. So tonight's area of focus is with ears. It's also on mouths um, and speech. And what you're going to do now is a spiritual practice of holy listening. And while it seems that we listen to people all the time and listen to radios and televisions and all sorts of things, um, many times we do not really listen to um, other people. So for a, everyone's going to be timed for five minutes talking to one other person and sharing a story. Uh, it could be the story that came to mind that when we did the earlier reflection, about um, God working through you or someone working through, or God working through someone else to touch your lives. Um, so another way to think of it is tell about a time when you had exactly the right information or experience or um, gift that you had what it took to move something forward or some time that you help someone else recognize that they had what it takes to move a plan forward. Okay, so here's the thing. When you are listening, you don't um, say, oh, that reminds me of, because that's not listening. 
Um, you can, this can be so short, you really don't even have a whole lot of time to say very much at all, but you might go, oh, or hmm, or oh no. I mean, so react is normal, that's good, but not interfering. If you are really not clear about something, you can ask a question with that as well. Um, each person that, well, when you get together, you have to decide who's gonna go first, and that person takes a deep breath and then answers. If it's between an extrovert and an introvert, it'll be easy to figure out. If it's a couple of introverts, well, you might have to arm wrestle. But you could pick whoever's birthday is the closest, all right? Because that can be hard. Um, and I'm gonna have my timer going. So at five minutes, even if you're in the middle of a story, sorry, you need to stop, okay? Because once you get going, sometimes you can go on away a while. Um, when you're all done, you'll say, uh, thank you to the other person and move on. The listener is receiving what is being shared. That's the gift that you're offering. And um, being engaged with the person and, and seeking them. Oh, and for talking to somebody else, you could always talk to somebody that you know. But what makes it even more interesting is if you look for a friendly looking stranger or someone you don't know that well, maybe not a stranger, and share a story with them. But even families don't talk to each other that deeply so often, so that's why I wanna leave it both ways. You could pick someone you know really well, but you wanna hear their story, or you find a friendly looking stranger. So right now, do the, the finding another person. I know we have exactly the right number of people, because I can participate or not. I'm the extra.
All right, it's time to stop and change roles. And the other person tells a story from their um, life.
All right, it is time to come back and finish our service. So say thank you to the other and um, then carry on. There we go. I hope you um, recognize through this little taster of um, a spiritual practice the, the strong gift there is in listening to another. And maybe that's something we can keep working on. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town in Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do your will. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love on your servant here and blessed me all my life through. Great and mighty are you, O Holy One, strong is your kindness evermore. How you favor the weak and lowly one, humbling the proud of heart. You have cast the mighty down from their thrones and uplifted the humble of heart. You have filled the hungry with wondrous things and left the wealthy no part. Great and mighty are you, O faithful one, strong is your and strung your love as you promised to Sarah and Abraham kindness forevermore. My soul proclaims your greatness, O God, and my spirit rejoices in you. You have looked with love and a servant here and blessed me all my life through. Hold us in love. He is in peace, we pray to you. God of mercy, hold us in love. For peace and salvation, we pray to you. and praise you. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all of your servants who live out your gospel. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who 
govern that justice might guide them. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who labor in service to others. God of mercy, hold us in love. Grant whether that nourishes all of creation. God of mercy, hold us in love. Keep watch on our loved ones and keep us from danger. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all the beloved who rest in your mercy, God of mercy, hold us in love. Help us, comfort us for all of your days. Keep us, hold us, gracious God. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Creator in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light of our light. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. We go in peace.